Let me guess. I've been pardoned. Really? Father's orders. Well, we mustn't disappoint Father. Not you. Do you think she'll open her legs for me after I tell her how we murdered her mother and brother? One way or another, you will get that girl pregnant. Do not rape her. Shall I explain to you in one easy lesson how the world works? Use small words. I'm not as bright as you. The house that puts family first will always defeat the house that puts the whims and wishes of its sons and daughters first. A good man does everything in his power to better his family's position, regardless of his own selfish desires. Does that amuse you? No, it's a very good lesson. Only it's easy for you to preach utter devotion to family when you're making all the decisions. Easy for me, is it? When have you ever done something that wasn't in your interest, but solely for the benefit of the family? The day that you were born. I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Instead, I let you live. And I brought you up as my son. Because you're a Lannister. I, Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of my name, King of the Andals and the First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, do hereby recuse myself from this trial. Tywin of the House Lannister, Hand of the King, Protector of the Realm, will sit as judge in my stead. Tyrion of the House Lannister. You stand accused by the Queen Regent of Regicide. Did you kill King Joffrey? No. Killed a few puppies today. Shame. Roslyn caught a fine fat trout. Her brothers gave her a pair of wolf pelts for her wedding. Signed, Walder Frey. Is that bad poetry, or is it supposed to mean something? Rob Stark is dead. Traitors! All their heads! Oh, you blind, bloody fool! You can't insult me! We've had vicious kings, and we've had idiot kings, but I don't know if we've ever been cursed with a vicious idiot one. You can! I can, I am! They attacked me! They threw a cow pie at you, so you decide to kill them all! They're starving, you fool! All because of a war you started! You're talking to a king! Ah! And now I've struck a king. Did my hand fall from my wrist? Where is the Stark girl? Let them have her! If she dies, you'll never get your Uncle Jamie back. You owe him quite a bit, you know. Did your wife, the Lady Sansa? Not that I know of. How would you say he died, then? Choked on his pigeon pie. So you would blame the bakers? Or the pigeons, just leave me out of it. The Crown may call its first witness. What is the meaning of this? What kind of 
knight beats a helpless girl. The kind who serves his king imp. Careful now. We don't want to get blood all over your pretty white cloak. Someone get the girl something to cover herself with. She's to be your queen. Have you no regard for her honor? I'm punishing her. For what crimes? She did not fight her brother's battle, you half-wit. You can't talk to me like that. The king can do as he likes. The mad king did as he liked. Has your Uncle Jamie ever told you what happened to him? No one threatens his grace in the presence of the king's guard. I'm not threatening the king, sir. I am educating my nephew. Bronn, the next time Sir Merwin speaks, kill him. That was a threat. See the difference? Once we've got King Joffrey safely away from the mob, the imp rounded on him. He slapped the king across the face and called him a vicious idiot and a fool. It wasn't the first time the imp threatened Joffrey. Right here, in this throne room, he marched up those steps and called our king a halfwit, compared his grace to the mad king and suggested he'd meet the same fate. And when I spoke in the king's defense, he threatened to have me killed. Oh, why don't you tell them what Joffrey was doing? Silence! Pointing a loaded crossbow at Sansa Stark while you tore out her clothes and beat her. Silence! You will not speak unless called upon. The badge looks good on you. Almost as good as it looked on me. Are you enjoying your new position? Am I enjoying it? I was very happy as Hand of the King. <laughs> yes, I heard how happy you were. You brought a whore into my bed. Oh, it wasn't your bed at the time. I sent you here to advise the king. I gave you real power and authority. You chose to spend your days, as you always have, bedding harlots and drinking with thieves. Occasionally, I drank with the harlots. What do you want, Tyrion? Why does everyone assume I want something? Can't I simply visit with my beloved father? My beloved father, who somehow forgot to visit his wounded son after he fell on the battlefield. Mr. Pycelle assured me your wounds were not fatal. I organized the defense of this city while you held court in the ruins of Harrenhal. I led the foray when the enemies were at the gate, while your grandson, the king, quivered in fear behind the walls. I bled in the mud for our family, and as my reward, I was trundled off to some dark little cell. But what do I want? A little bloody gratitude would be a start. Jugglers and singers require applause. You are a Lannister. Do you think I demanded a garland of roses every time I suffered a wound on the battlefield? Wolf's vein, essence of nightshade, sweet sleep, tears of lease, Demons dance. Uh, uh, blind eye. I think you have made your point, Grand Maester. You have a lot of poison in your store. Had, Prince Oberyn. My stores were plundered. By whom? By the accused, Tyrion Lannister, after he had me wrongfully imprisoned. Well, thank you, my lord. I can trust you, Pycelle, can I not? Why, yes, of course, my lord. These are perilous times, and the Crown must forge new alliances. And these alliances must often be sealed in matrimony. Matrimony, ah, yes. I'm trusting the Council with these plans, but the Queen mustn't know. I can't have her meddling in affairs that could determine the future of the realm. There's too much at stake. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Yes, I shall be silent as the grave. How long have you been spying for my sister? All I did, I did for House Lannister. Always, your Lord Father, ask him. I've always been his servant since the days of the Mad King. How many hands have you betrayed, Pycelle? 
Ered Stark, John Aaron. Oh, oh Lord Aaron. He knew. He, he knew the tr truth about, about, about the Queen, and, and he, he planned to act, to, t to tell King Robert. So you poisoned him? No, never. But you let him die, made sure he succumbed. Uh, Lannister. I always served Lannister. Was it without question poison that killed him? Without question. This was found on the body of Dauntless Hollard, the king's fool. He was last seen spiriting Sansa Stark, the wife of the accused, away from the feast. She wore this necklace the day of the wedding. Residue of the most rare and terrible poison was found inside. Was this one of the poisons stolen from your store? It was. The Strangler. A poison few in the Seven Kingdoms possess. And used to strike down the most noble child the gods ever put on this good Please. earth. Stay! I will hurt you for this. A day will come when you think, think you, you are, are safe. safe and happy, and your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth. And you will know the debt, debt is paid. Your own brother said this to you. Shortly before the Battle of Blackwater Bay, I confronted him about his plans to put Joffrey on the front lines. I hear Joffrey plans on fighting. An inspiration for the troops. The young king in his shining armor, fighting to defend the capital against the wicked old rebel. He's only a boy. Younger boys are off fighting his war. He's not ready. What is he? Seventeen? Remember Jamie at seventeen? Better than you. Some men have a gift for this sort of thing. Some don't. His place is not on the battlefield. It's not on the throne either. Sadly for all of us. As it turned out when the attack came, Joff insisted on remaining at the battlements. He believed his presence would inspire the troops. Tyrion said, and you will know the debt is paid. What debt? I discovered he'd been keeping whores in the Tower of the Hand. I asked him to confine his salacious acts to the brothel where such behavior belongs. He wasn't pleased. Thank you, Your Grace, for the courage of your testimony. <coughs> Write back to Lord Frey, thank him for his service, and command him to send Rob Stark's head. I'm going to serve it to Sansa at my wedding feast. Your Grace, Lady Sansa is your aunt by marriage. A joke? Joffrey did not mean it. Yes, I did. I'm going to have it served to Sansa at my wedding feast. No. She is no longer yours to torment. Everyone is mine to torment. You do well to remember that, you little monster. Oh, I'm a monster. Perhaps you should speak to me more softly then. Monsters are I'm afraid I do, my lord. Just now. He said perhaps you should speak more softly to me then. Monsters are dangerous. And just now, kings are dying like flies. And he said this to you at a meeting of the small council? Yes. After we received word of Rob Stark's death, he didn't seem gladdened by the news. Perhaps his marriage to Sansa Stark had made him more sympathetic to the Northern cause. Your excuse, Lord Varys. Father, may I ask the witness one question? One. There are many who know that without you, this city faced certain defeat. The king won't give you any honors. The histories won't mention you. But we will not forget. You once said that without me, this city would have faced certain defeat. 
You said the histories would never mention me, but you would not forget. Have you forgotten, Lord Varus? Sadly, my lord, I never forget a thing. We will adjourn for now. Toll the bells in an hour's time. Clear the court! Guilty. Oh, you think so? And when you are, you need to enter a formal plea for mercy and ask to be sent to the wall. Father's agreed to it. He'll spare your life and allow you to join the Night's Watch. Ned Stark was promised the same thing, and we both know how that turned out. Father is not Joffrey. He'll keep his word. How do you know? Do you trust me? Keep your mouth shut. No more outbursts. This will all be over soon. Crown may call its next witness. Of me. Of course I come. I want to see you. Believe me, you don't. Have you looked? I will be the first. I'm a monster, as well as a dwarf. You should charge me double. You think I'm here for money? That was the arrangement we made. I pay you and you lie to me. Oh, I'm a poor little rich man and nobody loves me, so I make jokes all the time and pay them to laugh. Fuck your money. Let's leave. Leave? Leave King's Landing. They tried to kill you, they will try again. Going into wars, fighting soldiers, you're terrible at this. Let's take a boat to Pentos and never come back. You don't belong here. What would we do in Pentos? Eat, drink, fuck, live. I want to go with you. So do it. Your father, your sister, all these bad people, they can't stop you. Forget about them, come with me. I can't. I do belong here. These bad people. What I'm good at. Out talking them, out thinking them. It's what I am. And I like it. I like it more than anything I've ever done. Are you going to leave? You have a shit memory. I am yours, and you are mine. <laughs> yes, Tyrion Lannister. Now how do you know him? 
I was handmaiden to his wife, Lady Sansa. Who are you? This man stands accused of murdering King Joffrey. What do you know of this? I know that he's guilty. He and Sansa planned it together. Silence! Continue. Why would he reveal such plans to his wife's maid? I wasn't just her maid. I was his whore. I beg your pardon? You said you were his... His whore. How did you come to be in his service? Who are you? Who would you like me to be? What did your mother call you? Shay. What did your mother call you? My mother died giving birth to me. Is that why I'm here? So we can talk about our mothers? What sort of accent is that? Foreign. The... What do you want from me? What do I want from you? I want you to share my tent. I want you to pour my wine, laugh at my jokes, rub my legs when they are sore after a day's ride. I want you to take no other man to bed for as long as we're together. And I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world, which it may well be. And what do I get? One, safety. No one will hurt you for as long as you're mine. Two, the pleasure of my company, which I have heard is spectacular. Who told you this? Women you paid? And three, more gold than you can spend if you lived a thousand years. He stole me. I was with another man a night in your lordship's army. But when Tyrion arrived at the camp, he sent one of his cutthroats into our tent. He broke the knight's arm and brought me to Lord Tyrion. You belong to me now, he said. I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. Silent. I did everything he wanted. Whatever he told me to do to him, whatever he felt like doing to me, I kissed him where he wanted, I licked him where he wanted. I let him put himself where he wanted. I was his property. I would wait in his chambers for hours so he could use me when he was bored. He ordered me to call him my lion, so I did. I took his face in my hands and said, I am yours and you are mine. Che. Please don't. I am a whore. Remember? We'll fight them together. It's like you said. I am yours and you are mine. You're a whore! Sansa is fit to bear my children, and you are not. I can't be in love with a whore. I can't have children with a whore. How many men have you been with? Five hundred? Five thousand? How many whores have you been with? I have enjoyed my time with all of them, and I have enjoyed my time with you, most of all. But now that time is over. <gasps> that was before he married Sansa. After that, all he wanted was her. But she wouldn't let him in her bed. So he promised to kill King Joffrey for her. Shea has been noticed. Sansa's maid saw you with her. She already told your sister. It's only a matter of time before your father hears. So I'm guilty of being seen with my own wife's handmaiden. My father will ask you if there's anything more, and you'll tell him some clever lie. No, I will not. How long do you imagine your father and sister would let me live if they suspected me of lying? I have no pet cell sword to protect me, no legendary brother to avenge me. Only little birds who whisper in my ear. Excuse me, if I don't weep for you? No one weeps for spiders or whores. I have friends across the sea who could help her. She won't leave. They've 
told him this is a dangerous place so many times she no longer believes it. Your father has promised to hang the next whore he finds you with. Sorry. Have you ever known your father to make an idle threat? Now, one more thing. The next whore I cut in your bed, I'll hang. Father, I wish to confess. I wish to confess. You wish to confess? I saved this city and all your worthless lives. I should have let Stannis kill you all. Tyrion! Do you wish you to wish confess? To... Yes. Father, I'm guilty. Guilty? Is that what you want to hear? Do you admit you poisoned the king? No. Of that I'm innocent. I'm guilty of a far more monstrous crime. I'm guilty of being a dwarf. You are not on trial for being a dwarf. Oh. And I would let myself be consumed by maggots before mocking the family name and making you heir to Casterly Rock. Why? Why? You ask that? You who killed your mother to come into the world? You are an ill-made, spiteful little creature, full of envy, lust, and low cunning. Men's laws give you the right to bear my name and display my color, since I cannot prove that you are not mine. And to teach me humility, the gods have condemned me to watch you waddle about, wearing that proud lion that was my father's sigil and his father's before him. But neither gods nor men will ever compel me to let you turn casterly rock into your whorehouse. Go now. Speak no more of your rights to Casterly Rock. Go. I've been on trial for that my entire life. Have you nothing to say in your defense? I did not do it. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. I wish I was the monster you think I am. I wish I had enough poison for the whole pack of you. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. I will not give my life for Joffrey's murder, and I know I'll get no justice here, so I will let the gods decide my fate. I demand a trial by combat. years ago. I think I would have remembered that. Unlikely, you had just been born. Our father brought me and my sister Elia with him on a visit to Casterly Rock. My first time away from Dorne. I didn't like anything about the rock. <laughs> not the food, not the weather, not your accents, nothing. <sighs> but the biggest disappointment you. You and my family have more in common than you might admit. The whole way from Dorne, all anyone talked about was the monster that had been born to Tywin Lannister. A head twice the size of his body, a tail between his legs, claws, one red eye. The privates of both a girl and a boy. That would have made things so much easier. When we met your sister, she promised she would show you to us. Every day we would ask, every day she would say, soon. Then she and your brother 
took us to your nursery and she unveiled the freak. Your head was a bit large, your arms and legs were a bit small, but no claw. No red eye, no tail between your legs, just a tiny pink cock. We didn't try to hide our disappointment. That's not a monster, I told Cersei. That's just a baby. And she said he killed my mother. And she pinched your little cock so hard I thought she might pull it off until your brother made her stop. It doesn't matter, she told us. A coat of gold, a coat of red, a lion still has claws. Since he always gets what she wants. So he spoke, and oh, so Daniel, he spoke. Daniel, you raped her! You murdered her! You killed her children! And now the rains we He didn't hate me because of anything I did. He hated me because of what I am. A little monster sent to punish him. Yes, now the rains we bore Why'd you read so much? Look at me and tell me what you see. Is this a trick? What you see is a dwarf. If I had been born a peasant, they might have left me out in the woods to die. Alas, I was born a Lannister of Casterly Rock. Things are expected of me. Survive my childhood. You would have. You were the only one who didn't treat me like a monster. You were all I had. 